good morning everyone and uh, next problem uh, two forces acts at an angle of 120 degrees the bigger force is of uh, 40 newtons and resultant is perpendicular to smaller one find the smaller force okay. so two forces uh, acts at an angle of 120 degrees there are two forces and the given bigger force here bigger force is uh, 40 newton so bigger force bigger force let us uh, denote bigger force uh, as p so bigger force uh, p is equal to how much 40 newton and the resultant is perpendicular to smaller ones here resultant is so resultant of uh, bigger force and smaller force is perpendicular to smaller force smaller force to right angle perpendicular means right angle okay so find the smaller force find the smaller force so smaller force smaller force uh, let us uh, denote it with uh, capital q q is equal to how much we have to find smaller force okay uh, let us draw the diagram okay so i'm going to use uh, parallelogram law of forces parallelogram of parallelogram law of forces concept you just know so there are uh, two forces uh, okay so force p and force q force p and force q here force p is bigger force this is bigger force and this is smaller force and here resultant resultant or resultant r resultant denoted by capital r here resultant makes an angle makes an angle 90 degrees with smaller force this is smaller force so resultant perpendicular to the smaller one he given resultant the bigger force of 40 newton and resultant is perpendicular to smaller one so this is smaller force and here resultant makes an angle makes an angle 90 degrees a right angle with the smaller force angle between two forces is angle between two forces is 120 degrees 120 degrees okay So, here taught angle between bigger force and smaller force is 120 degrees. Angle between resultant and smaller force is 90 degrees. Now, what is the angle here? Angle between resultant and angle between resultant and bigger forces or horizontal forces. Okay, now let us consider bigger forces, horizontal force. So, here bigger angle between bigger force and resultant is one total 120 120 minus 90 120 degrees minus 90 degrees you will get 30 degrees so this angle is 30 degrees so in parallelogram law of forces in parallelogram law of forces if the resultant if the resultant makes an angle makes an angle makes an angle alpha with alpha with force horizontal force p here p means bigger force p then then tan alpha is equal to q sin theta by p plus q cos theta this is the formula when the resultant makes an angle alpha with the p then q sin theta by tan alpha is equal to q sin theta by p plus q cos theta Okay, now here P is a bigger force. Using this formula, we can find smaller force Q, capital Q. He formula you just man capital Q find out change. Okay, and remember here alpha is equal to how much? 30 degrees. Here alpha is equal to 30 degrees. So angle between resultant and horizontal force P. Okay. Okay. So using this formula, we can find smaller force Q. So first tan alpha. Here alpha is equal to how much? Alpha is equal to 30 degrees. And theta. Here theta means angle between uh, two forces. Angle between two forces is 120 degrees. And P is equal to bigger force. How much is given? Bigger force 40 newtons is given. So let us find Q. Okay. Tan 
alpha alpha 30 degrees is equal to q sin theta q sin theta theta means how much 120 degrees by p value 40 plus q cos theta 120 degrees so remember in trigonometry tan 30 degrees is equal to 1 by root 3 and sin 120 degrees sin 120 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 and cos 120 degrees these are all values standard values cos 120 degrees is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 let us substitute all values here tan 30 1 by root 3 is equal to sin 120 sin 120 q into sin 120 how much root 3 by 2 by 40 plus q into cos 120 minus 1 by 2 cos 120 minus 1 by 2 now apply cross multiplication okay no? 41 into this you will get same because it's an multiplicative identity minus q by 2 is equal to root 3 into q into root 3 by 2 root 3 into root 3 root 3 whole square you will get the square square will get cancelled you will get 3 3 q by 2 here 40 minus q by 2 transpose minus q by 2 40 is equal to 3q by 2 plus q by 2 negative q by 2 becomes positive q by 2 3q by 2 plus q by 2 4q by 2 40 is equal to 4q by 2 4 1s are 4 tens are transpose to 10 into 2 20 q is equal to therefore q is equal to 20 newtons therefore magnitude of smaller force is 20 newtons okay